The mouse was a record setter, a literal moving bunker, and it was too heavy to cross bridges. You may ask why this tank exists. I'm going to give you two answers, the short version and the long version. The short version is propaganda. This tank would never have been practical, but it was invented for propaganda purposes. Now here's the long version, if you're still watching. If the short version was all you really wanted, go ahead and close up. Now, the mouse was an experimental tank designed by Ferdinand Porsche. Only two were ever built, and only one was ever completed. The mouse had a crew of six, the commander, the gunner, two loaders, the driver, and the radio operator. The main armament was the 128 was a 128 millimeter gun that had 68 shells, and the 75 millimeter gun with a thousand shells was the secondary weapon. It was produced in 1944 and had a maximum speed of 20 kilometers an hour, or for you Americans, about 12 miles an hour. Now the mouse wasn't just heavy, but super heavy at 185 long tons. If you haven't already guessed, the mouse was colossal at 10.2 meters long, or 33 feet and 6 inches long, and 3.36 meters high, or 11 feet and 11 inches high, and 3.71 meters wide, 12, 12 feet and 2 inches. Now the mouse had an MB509 V12 petrol engine. It had a horsepower to ton ratio of 6.4 and a ground clearance of 500 millimeters, or 20 inches, if I'm correct. Sorry, forgot to put inches on in the script. The mouse had a few fuel tanks, internal and external. The internal fuel tank could hold about 2,700 liters or 710 gallons, and the external tank could hold 1,500 liters or 400 gallons. Now you may wonder how far you could travel with all this fuel. Well, it totaled out to about 99 miles, or 160 kilometers. If you know even the slightest thing about tanks, you know they can't always stay on the road. So if the mouse needed to travel off the road, it could only travel about 39 miles, or 62 kilometers. That would take three hours. Yeah. This tank was not practical. Now, the 128mm gun was powerful enough to destroy any Allied armor from up to 3,500 meters. So it's likely that this tank would never have been used in urban combat, but would have been used out in the countryside as the first line of defense, if it had ever been produced. Now the tank's basic design was known as the VK100.01, or Porsche Type 205, and was suggested to Adolf Hitler by Ferdinand Porsche in 1942. It was subsequently approved. The first prototype was already was to be ready in 1943, to be and meant to be named Mammoth or Mammoth, which was eventually changed to Martian, Little Mouse. I'm probably butchering this, by the way. In December 1942, just in time for Christmas, it was later shortened to Mouse what we all know today. In February 1943, the mouse was first designed to use an electric transmission, which was also used in the VK-501P, which was Porsche's failed attempt to win production of the Tiger. So you know how I said the mouse would never be practical? Like three times? Well, in his book, Heinz Guderian wrote, on May 1st, a wooden model of the mouse, a tank project of Porsche and Krupp, was shown to Hitler. It was intended to mount a 150mm gun. The total weight of the tank was supposed to reach 175 tons. 
It should be considered that after the design changes on Hitler's instructions, the tank will weigh 200 tons. The model didn't have a single machine gun for close combat. For this reason, I had to reject it. It had the same design flaw as the elephant, unsuitable for close combat. In the end, the tank will inevitably have to wage a close combat since it operates in cooperation with the infantry. An intense debate started, and except for me, all of the present found the mouse magnificent. It was promising to be exactly that, a giant. Now with that, I'll be ending the video. If you like this topic and would like to hear more about it, be sure to comment that you want me to talk more about tanks or the mouse, or check out my podcast. I'm starting it with my friend, and you'll get to hear just banter, and we'll talk about tanks. But with that, I'll leave you on this closing note. You can find the mouse in Kubinka Tank Museum in Russia, outside of Moscow. This I'm pretty sure that's where it is. If you like this video even a little, consider liking and subscribing. And with that, I leave.